Alright, well, it's been about a month since my video and uh, that last video I should say um, where I rode off into the desert on the KTM 390 Adventure and uh, it was an adventure. Um, I attempted to do, uh, what was it, sections 2, 3, 4, and 5 of the California BDR and uh, yeah, I barely got through section two and three <laughs> on the KTM 390 Adventure. Uh, so I wanted to make this video just because it's been it's been about a month. Dude, that that trip wore me out. There was a lot of sand out there uh, in the desert, especially in section uh, two, uh, where I started at the Rice Cadiz uh, Road uh, part of the section. So I really only did half, and. Uh, my overall, I'm gonna to try to keep this as short as possible. I don't wanna run on, ramble on for 20 minutes, but uh, the KTM 390 Adventure, I, I, it has a, quite a bit of capabilities, but it needs to be ridden light. And what I mean by you need to ride light, don't pack it up like your standard adventure bike or anything that's like a 650 or plus bikes. You wanna ride it light. Uh, carry as minimal as possible on this bike. Uh, reason being, uh, going through desert, I weigh about 195. I had about 75 to 80 pounds of gear. Uh, and, and I'm riding solo, so you need a lot of things when you're riding solo because you're not dispersing that weight amongst, uh, you know, another rider or two or three different riders. Uh, you know, mainly your tools, tire repair kits, uh, food, things like that. So I was carrying everything with me. I could slim down quite a bit but I would be taking the risk as to, you know, what I'm going to be cutting out of my kit. Uh, and then I've got my kit uh, videos as well, so you can see what I was carrying. Uh, I think I could have cut back, cut my tool weight in half, brought minimal on the tools. Uh, tire repair, I think I went a little overboard on that. It is a light bike, so the chances of you getting pinch flats or um, shredding your tire, it's, it's slim to none. Um, everybody talks about the cast wheels, especially on the 2021. You know, the, there's problems with uh, cast wheels. They are when it's a bigger bike. This is, a, this is such a light bike. Um, it's a fun bike. But like I said, it's a novelty adventure bike. It just, uh, it doesn't have the torquiness uh, to rip through the sand. I don't, know, I don't know how to really explain it unless you've actually ridden the bike. Uh, itself, it can handle the off-road uh, environment. It, uh, it it definitely can, but you just have to ride it light. Don't weigh it down. Bring just the essential gear that you need. And I think I just brought too much with my uh, with my trip. Uh, the traction control was definitely uh, working against me in the sand. Uh, as as many videos have explained about the traction control, uh, we all wish that there was just a quick release turn off. Uh, if there was a way, you know a way you can just Turn it off and on, that'd be amazing, especially in those situations. I still need to get the update on my bike where you go through uh, and they set it to where you have the different riding modes as well as uh, as the permanent turn off uh, of the, uh, what is it called, MTC, uh, basically your traction control. Other than that, the bike, it, it handled pretty well. Uh, but yeah, deep sand, it, the bike is definitely not a fan of the deep sand, that's for sure. Uh, like I said, I just had too much weight. So if you saw that video um, and my trip got short, that's really the only thing I can break, break it down to when it comes to the KTM 390 Adventure, is just don't weigh it down. Uh, ride it light, um, just plan on being kind of grimy, wearing the same clothes. I mean, maybe only bring like, you know, bring, bring definitely extra, you know, maybe three pairs of socks, you know, and a couple pairs of underwear, you know, uh, but that's it, yeah. And then just the minimal clothing uh, to pack. Definitely bring your tent, your sleeping bag, try to condense those as small as possible. Tools, just bring the essential tools. Um, and Loctite, Loctite is something, before you go on any adventure on the KTM 390 Adventure, I would recommend going through anything that's bolted on, undo those bolts, throw the blue Loctite on there, and reseal it um, in, the, in the video. And then as I started this video, yeah, my handlebar uh, end cap weight uh, for the uh, handguard, uh, 
unthreaded itself, didn't even notice until I was on my way back home. I was like, oh wow, that's flapping in the wind. So uh, th those bolts came off. Uh, the tail light on the KTM 390, I don't know how, I was even riding off road. Uh, I, I was just riding out to the desert, taking back road highways and uh, that came off. I think it was the weight of my bags. I had those Tusk bags, uh, the Highlander X2s. So I think, you know, when I had them cinched down, it was cinched down on the uh, uh, tail light. Maybe just some vibration just popped it off. So I will show you the repair that I did on that here in just a few moments. Um, I, this bike, I, I've accepted that I paid $6,200 for this bike and I'm riding it until the wheels fall off or until the motor's completely dead. It's just gonna be that bike in my, uh, in my garage. Um, it's a fun bike, but I just can't see myself trying to sell it and get any sort of resale value out of it. And I know a lot of guys in these groups are like, oh, I'm trying to sell it. How much should I sell? It's like, dude, this is the bike that you keep. This is the one you ride until it rides no more. Um, that's just my feeling about the KTM 390 Adventure. If you invest that kind of money into it, that's the best you're going to get for, for that, for that amount of money an adventure bike with the tech that it has, the traction control, um, and the adjustable suspension, everything that you get with it, you're not gonna find a better deal. So you might as well just buy this bike and keep it. And any repairs you do on it, just call it your Frankenstein bike. And that's what I'm doing with this bike. So anytime I beat it up, I can either replace the factory parts or I'm just gonna zip tie it. Um, so, and the, the other thing I'll say about the KTM 390, if you want a bug out, end of the world zombie apocalypse bike. KTM 390 is your bike. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm thoroughly happy with the performance of the bike. But like I said, as I'm going out on these little adventures off-roading uh, with it, which is kind of like a primary use that I wanna use with this bike, I'm finding that I'm going to need to lighten my load and uh, yeah, and just, uh, yeah, sand just, to, uh, sand beats this thing up. <laughs> so watch out for that deep sand uh, with the KTM 390 Adventure. Just because you have a, the other, the other aspect of the uh, sand with this is that you have a shorter wheelbase on that bike than you do on like the bigger bikes. So that shorter wheelbase really kind of stunts you down a little bit. So when you're hitting that sand, instead of having kind of like a, when you're leaning back on your bike and you kind of got like a, nice longer front end that can kind of just glide you know on the sand like a jet ski is kind of how i uh interpret that feeling when you're riding a, a bike a motorcycle through deep sand at high speeds it's just got that jet ski kind of like flowy feel um but with this bike it's because the front end's so short, you're, it's pretty much right under you. So you get any of those wobbles and you're leaving, and I leave my arms pretty loose, you know. You know, elbows, shoulders are locked in, but the arms are just kind of loose and you're letting the bike go. But uh, yeah, with, with just how stubbiness of the wheelbase, yeah, you get that turning or down, down, quick. So, and that happened to me like 20 times. I didn't have it in that uh, video that I made. Um, there was one time and that was actually a slow speed crash that I ca actually caught on uh, video, but yeah, there was a bunch of them. And then you're deadlifting 450 pounds, you know, with all the weight that I had on it, or you're having to take off all the gear, lift it up and then put all the gear back. So it's like a 15 minute process. Um, yeah, I got worn out and it was like 95 degrees out that day. So, um, but it's a, it's a it's the KTM is the 390 Adventure is a capable bike, uh, but I do I do still feel it. It's like a novelty um, adventure bike. Um, it was based off, like I said, the Duke platform. So you've got the motor, but it's just got all the accessories. But it's nothing on it is really um, I don't know how. I mean, it's it's hard to describe. Well, you have to have one in front of you to understand um, that it's it'll get you it'll get you through some things but things are gonna fall apart things are gonna fall off things are gonna br break um, and you just have to kind of accept that about this bike um, but like I said the motor is the most impressive part aspect of this bike I mean that motor just ate it up it just yeah it, it, it took what I could throw at it um, but a lot of the things that you know my problems were based on my inexperience with the bike hence with all the gear and luggage that i was carrying on the bike 
for this uh, trip. So that's pretty much it. That's what I've got for the bike. So now I'm going to show you the Frankenstein uh, parts and things that I uh, did to fix the tail light and then uh, my uh, hand guard because uh, I, I couldn't find the fa there's a factory uh, OEM uh, part but um, I found one that was a, a, an $8 fix so I'll show that to you uh, real quick here so let's go head out to the garage I'll show you those uh, Frankenstein fixes I did on my KTM 390. This is the tail light it was hanging off but I uh, I had to cut with a knife blade at the top and at the bottom and I had to get it around this kind of hex bolt nut thing that it attaches to it's a really weird design anyways I got it around that and then I zip tied everything and then I had to tighten the bolt back behind here you can see so I tightened that up so now it seems like it's on pretty good you know that's the that, that one's still on and this is the new one so there we go yeah all right and then what we did with the um, basically your hand guard uh, here it was uh, yeah it, the, the last one unthreaded itself and came out I don't even know what it looked like this is what the uh, throttle side looks like so I was gonna do black but I actually I thought I was gonna do both sides and I was just gonna do them orange I might do the other one orange but I found this online it was like seriously like 10 bucks after tax on Amazon and uh, it works it's doing it, it, it's doing what it's supposed to do so <laughs> the bike is starting to get some kind of Frankenstein bot uh, as far as my bag over here I'm sure you guys saw this in the video this is what it looks like this is the tusk bag and it's it's pretty much shredded through um, yeah it, 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 ain't, it ain't a hole through it. So I think I'm gonna give Tusk a call. Maybe they'll see this video. Um, maybe they can just send me the, uh, I think this is my left side uh, pen here because they, they just kind of unbolt here. They've got like a little, it's like a little bolting system right here. So it can come off. So maybe they can just send me that. So I don't have to buy a whole new uh, Tusk bag setup because that whole Tusk bag setup that I got was, I think it was like $500. And the bags are great, I like them. But I'm also thinking about maybe going for their, uh, they have a lighter, lighter, smaller uh, Tusk version that actually fits right here. And it's a lot smaller, so if I'm scaling back, but. But I'm telling you about this bike, this bike, I really enjoyed it. it. It's fun, it has a lot of capabilities. I just have to learn how to pack it and how to ride it light, so. All right, so that's it. Um, that's it for uh, this video. That's that's kind of my explanation of what was going on uh, out there in that last video, and my thoughts on the KTM 390 Adventure as a adventure bike. Um, it has a lot of potential, I, but it's just yes, yeah, don't weigh it down. Don't put you know 60, 70 pounds, 80 pounds of gear on there and expect this thing to be riding off road. I mean, it handled pretty really well with the weight on it when when there wasn't sand. Like, I mean, it was it was floating. It felt really planted. It felt really stable. But um, when you drop that thing, it's heavy, and you know, with all that gear on there, so you're gonna be taking that gear off. So I think uh, my next adventures, I think I'm gonna lighten up my load. Uh, I might replace the the X twos, those Highlander series uh, Tusk bags, with uh, kind of a smaller version that Tusk has and uh, maybe try that out and just ride way light you know ride like an adventure rider like a dakar rider you know where it's just very minimal and we'll see how that goes that might suck it might be great who knows thanks for watching this far yeah feel free to like subscribe hit the notification all that whatever jazz and then uh yeah i'll see you guys at the next video